So this time we're going to make some moving platforms that we can test and work with. I've first of all, we're going to just put it on. We're going to make a blueprint class that's going to do all the hard work. So we're going to go to blueprints and create a new blueprint class called a type actor, which we'll just call moving floor underscore BP. Um, and we're going to want a plane. Should we do it on a box? I suppose it doesn't really matter so much. We'll put it on a plane and we're also going to need a, a box collision. And scale that box collision up so it's about the same as your actual floor. So this will be, you know, when the player steps on it, um, this is where we'll actually do our effect, um, our blueprint. So let's, in our code section, let's grab our box, grab a reference to our collision box, and we'll do this on a for each loop. So on our for each loop, we're going to say, is anyone overlapping our box? So this is what it's going to be based on. Get overlapping actors. And we're going to drag you into you. And then from here is where we're going to add actor offset. Um, add actor world offset. And get our reference. So in terms of which way we're going to move in, um, we're going to want to get the forward, we're going to Needs gonna get actor rotation, get actor rotation, and then we're gonna need to get its forward vector, get forward vector. So this way is gonna look which way is forward, um, and then just to keep it nice and consistent as well, um, what we'll do is we'll do a multiplication. So float times float. Um, and let's create a new variable for this, which will be our speed. So this way is going to give us more control of our speed. And set it to of type float. Grab you, get, set you in there. Um, I don't know what's going to be a good speed for this. 20. And we're just going to need to times these guys together. So we're times it by of type float into you, into you, and that should hopefully do it. Now, I, in Photoshop, I made a 1024 by 1024 texture, um, and it's just what the floor panel is going to look like. So I'm gonna export this. So I've just saved that as a PNG. Note as well, I made it black and white. I could have actually, what I probably should have done, um, is if I set my mode to grayscale, and it doesn't really matter if I flatten it or don't flatten it, because it's now sort of grayscale, it'll be much smaller in memory. Cool, so inside here, let's, um, I've now got a textures folder. I'm just gonna quickly make a texture folder. Textures, add import. Cool, and with this texture, I'm gonna right click and just create a material out of it. I've not got a materials folder either, but hey ho, shouldn't matter too much. And what this material essentially is gonna do is we're just gonna put a nice simple panner on it. We can change the color as well if we need to. So here's my texture. Um, we're gonna get a panner, which essentially is just going to move the image and we just want to move it on the Y axis. So let's just set it to one for now and see what that looks like. We can also multiply this um, by a color. So I'm just gonna hold three, left click and I don't know, should we say to blue, see what that looks like. Um, then multiply those together. If you hold M and left click, you can create a multiply and Let's actually make it a missive. 
are you not connecting? And let's times it by four and put you into you and I'm going to alt click and disconnect my base. So what that should do now is it should create ourselves a nice moving floor texture. Cool. So you can see this has sort of made it quite interesting and funky. Um, if you don't actually like the effect that it's got, just like in Photoshop, there are different blend modes. So you can always try some different blend modes like overlay and stuff will give you a different outcome and different feel instead of using multiply. So just replace multiply with those. But for me, that'll be fine. Um, and my plane, I'm just going to drag my new material. I don't think that is the forward direction. I might have to rotate that 90 degrees. Uh, so we've got our code set up. We've got what that looks like. Let's actually put it on level and see if it works. Oh, it's a bit small. Let's make it a little bit bigger. 10. Oh, oh, let's go five. And I'm just going to move it up. I'm actually going to probably set the plane to make sure it's got um, no collision. So we'll just put like overlap all or no collision. And let's see if this works. It is working, but oh my God, it's slow. So let's just increase that really quick. Event graph. So test speed to, I don't know, 100. It's like really just times that by five. And this was pointing left before. So it's actually just rotate it 90 degrees too. There we go. That's a lot better. Um, remember you can snap things to the floor by clicking on it and pressing end. But you know, we probably actually want to come off the floor a little bit. So I'm gonna set this to 132, just so we don't get that weird like overlapping. And I think that should be quite nice. That's looking kind of cool. Um, probably actually want a higher volume. I do also in Blender, I've made some like tracks. So just to beautify it a little bit too. So I've got two tracks in here. So I've got my middle mesh. Ooh, I should have got my scale. Should have scaled them together. What would be better actually is in Blender, if I just put a plane in the middle of here and exported that out separately. So that way I don't have to do this to try and get the edges right. Oh, actually that was straightforward. <laughs> that wasn't too bad at all. Um, And I'm going to just duplicate this by holding Alt. I, f I forget what the shortcut is for snapping. Is it V? It is V, sort of. So put that in place. I'm going to duplicate you as well, just so it's got the right scale and right everything and change the mesh on it to this one. Why did that not work? Where have you gone? There we go. And oh no, the scales the scale is a touch off. But you know what? That's not too bad. We can work with that. Cool, so you can see how we'd use these. Uh, might be nice to add a little bit of collision too. Maybe to the floor. And I'm going to go ahead, increase the speed on this and add it later on in my level.